We had to install a transducer for the Striker Vivid 4CV transducer by Garmin. Let's get started. Okay, when you open up the box, you're gonna get all these instructions. Like, who reads instructions? So, just a disclaimer, guys. I didn't read the instructions. I just kind of put two and two together. Um, but I've seen this done, so should be right. So, instructions, read them if you want. Also kind of got a bunch of extra stuff here that, that you don't need. But yeah, we're gonna get started. I'll show you everything that you need out of the package. Okay, installing the Garmin Striker 4 transducer. First open up your transducer in the box, find this bracket right here. On this bracket, You'll put it on the bottom of the transducer, find the five holes and line them up. Find the little baggie with these screws in them and screw in the screws to all five holes, making sure to put these prickly washers on them. And this is what it look like, should look like after the brackets installed. Once you found these two screws, find the baggie with this, because we're going to attach this to this bracket here. So the way you want to position that is the big side to this right here. You don't want to install it like this. You want to install it like this. So here are your pieces in that little bag. And the, the order it's going to be is this washer, which just fell on the floor. Hold on, let me get it. Okay, screw, washer, and rubber washer. So here's the first washer and there's the rubber washer. And it's gonna go th through this hole here. And then this is gonna be on the other side. So obviously you wanna put that on there first, feed it through and tighten that nut. Once that's aligned property, properly, find that screw the little metal washer and the rubber washer, place the metal washer in first and then the rubber washer. Don't stick it in yet, but I'm just showing you here where to stick it and then the nut goes on this side. You're gonna put that in there and screw it in and tighten down that nut. Okay, when you're installing this, you don't need to, to wrench down this side because your nut here is a uh, six-sided, so what, septagonal shape? Wait, septagon? That don't sound right. Okay, Google, what's a six-sided shape called? Hexagon. Hexagon. Okay. Okay, Google, okay, Google, stop. Okay, Google, stop. All right. Man, she's honoring. Right. Okay. So that'll grip as you tighten. So once you tighten that nut and screw down, you wanna go ahead and start wrapping your cordage around the transducer. Once you tighten that nut and screw down, you wanna go ahead and start wrapping your cordage around the transducer. And to do that, I just take my hand like this And start wrapping. Okay, so you have a lot of excess cordage. Once you form something like that and still have plenty of cordage to go through to be able to plug into your fish finder, conveniently, Mr. Garmin gives you a couple zip ties. 
and went ahead and zip tied both sides there. Okay. So it should look something like this. Once you have your goods zip tied, grab that packet of screws I told you to set aside. Or did I? Yeah, anyway, the packet with two screws. Let me grab them. All right, you're going to be using this packet of two screws on the next step. Take that out. Take your filthy wad. Oh, sorry, I hope this. Feed your excess line through the scupper hole. And yet there's two holes at the end of this bracket that go into these. Okay. We get started on this. Don't mind my big head. You don't have to lay down like this. I'm only doing this for the sake of the video. Cobra Kai on here. Where you at? There you are. And start screwing down. That's not screwed down all the way. I just want to get the other one started. screw in, get it started, and start screwing in. Now it's important when you put this bracket on to make sure your transducer is nice and level with the kayak. Um, and that you don't have any, really any play in that bracket. We kind of stink to take this off. Just to loosen that nut and, and level that. So once you get this wrench down nice and tight, you're almost done. Okay. Awesome. Next step, we're gonna go ahead and put this plate back on here. Woo! Looks good. <sighs> Just throw it on there, get them started a little bit. Not mistaken these might be the same screw size as the handles but I am probably mistaken don't quote me on that this is probably a no-no I'm sure it says somewhere in the instructions hand tighten so I'm gonna machine tighten not all the way down and just tighten this guard I'm so excited to take this kayak out. Fix it up, do some mods on it.
No. Better than Google. Let's check. Okay, Google, how do you install a transducer? On the website support.garmin.com, they say, installing a transom mount transducer. The location should be as close to the center of the boat as possible, but on the side of the downward swing the propeller. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, okay Google, Google, stop. Just stop. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, after your transducer is installed, you should have some cordage like this. That might be a little bit too much cordage. Probably punch some down there a little bit. I've seen people put pool noodles around there. I don't know. I think I'm going to drill out a hole in a scupper plug and do it that way. We'll see. Okay, so that is how you install a transducer on the Vibe Seaghost 110 and 130 for that matter. I'm pretty sure 130 is the exact same thing. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.